I remember when it, I watched the first episode and the father said to the son from the fan dubs, because I was watching it when it released in Japan, the father said something to the effect of only man has a god, a god called possibility. And that has changed in the recent translations for mainstream. But uh, that stuck with me. And I always decided to live my life as a beast of possibility. No matter what came against me, no matter what I stood against, I would find a way to overcome it, not be ruled by anger or my emotions. I love the message of Unicorn Gundam. I truly did. I love that series. Though, I will admittedly say uh, until the end of time, Bandai is milking the living hell out of these damn unicorn cup, these kits. Like, really, Bandai's milking it. And I know someone was like, you built this kit, you, you shouldn't say Bandai's milking it. Like, listen, dude, I'm running a YouTube channel, and I have to do stuff that's popular and relevant to please an algorithm. All right, dude? So it's like, I gotta play the game. I don't have much choice. But I will admit, I had no interest in the Unicorn Gundam, MGEX, till I saw normal people's coverage of it. Like, they were at, like, these expos, and they showed off the kit, and I was like, okay, this actually looks tight. Like, the promotion sucked. But actually seeing the kit in real world, I felt, all right, I'm in. And I'll admit, I like this kit a lot. I genuinely do. I think this is the best Unicorn Gundam kit on the market. I still believe the perfect grade looks better. Obviously, it's a perfect grade. But the LED gimmick, the overall stability of the kit, it, it can't be beat. The LED gimmick in this is so far superior to the perfect grade, it's ridiculous. It really is. This outshines the perfect grade on all levels of presentation of the LED. It should. It's $250. That's my biggest bone of contention here. This kit is expensive. Absorbently expensive. Like $250 is not something to scoff at. The average Gumpla builder doesn't have that sort of money to just throw around. I feel that the kit is just overpriced. If it was $150, all right, I would I would highly recommend it at $150. Bucks. But $250, ugh, that's a bit much. So this is only really recommended to anyone that has the disposable income and likes the unicorn or the Gundam fan that has the disposable income. Uh, for a normal Gundam fan that probably can only buy a handful of kits a year, it, once again, this depends on how much do you love the kit. I missed a nub, son of a bitch. I hate when that happens. I hate when I miss a spot. And then I zoom in and look at the kit, and it's just, it mocks me. It's like, ho, 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 you're working on this while you're tired, huh? You missed one, you idiot. And I look like a total... And I didn't hide the seam line good enough. I thought that seam right there was kind of part of the unicorn's design. I love this kit. <laughs> Outside of the price, I love the kit, I love the design, I love the look, the lighting, the posability, the stability, top notch. Price sucks. That's pretty much all I can say about it. Oh, the LED gimmick, that bothers me because you have to be very careful with it. If you do not pay attention to what you're doing, you can break it. I've seen a lot of people break it. People have contacted me and told me to be careful because they broke it and now they have to wait a couple weeks to get a replacement. So it's something I would suggest taking your time with. I was very meticulous of mine. I think I screwed with that for about an hour. Whenever I got frustrated, I'd take a break because I was not breaking this kit. <laughs> I was not. I was not having it, bro. Uh, the pilot figures, they're all right. You know, it is interesting to have the father fall, cardio vest. As many times as I've seen Gundam, why the hell do I not know the name off the top of my head? I'm pretty sure it's cardio vest. Uh, falling from the unicorn touching scene, the climactic scene. I think it was the day of the unicorn episode. It's surprising. I know the names of the episodes. God help me. But then again, I've seen unicorn so much, it's ridiculous. Ridiculous. For a guy who rags on Bandai for milking these unicorn Gundam kits, I've seen Gundam unicorn countless times. Uh, the wiring on this kit. I hate the wires for the shields. They suck. I think it was Kak Vrat who put it very very astutely when he said this would be a revolutionary kit 10 years ago and he's right the connectors for the shields are very 
weak and in my opinion flimsy and anyone who does not pay attention correctly will break it easily. Then you're gonna have a lousy time fixing it, especially if you don't have an electronic you know, thing sitting around your house. I don't think everybody has a multi-purpose soldering iron with solder and you know electronic wiring just laying around the house for these sort of things to happen. So in my opinion, that blows ass. There isn't much more to be said. It's a beautiful kit. It's an expensive kit. Nice to look at. The, it's just the definitive unicorn kit at this point. If you love unicorn, you got the money. You probably won't be disappointed. If you don't love the unicorn, you don't care. If you love the unicorn, you're broke. You're probably heartbroken. Y you know how it rolls. You know, it's a great kit if you got the money in the space. I don't regret building it. I really enjoyed it. I think this is probably one of the best master grades I've messed with. It just, it has everything going for it but the price. That's the best way you could put the Unicorn MGEX. It would be perfect if it's $100 cheaper. I mean, if it was the perfectibility... I can understand it being 250 bucks. If it was the Phoenix with the gold plating, I can understand it being 250 bucks because you know Bandai likes to just, oh my God, it just hit me. You know, like the Phoenix MGEX, if they do it, it's going to be P Bandai and it's going to be like 450 bucks, bro. <laughs> it's going to be. They're going to have the price of the kit already. Then they're going to whop you over the head for an extra 200 bucks for the like uh, electro plating. And the funny thing is, after messing with the Sinanju uh, TS Studios, I forgot the name, uh, Takumi Studios version, their gold plating, I genuinely feel, is as good as Bandai's. Call me crazy. Like, I don't think gold plating should cost as much as Bandai's charging. But that's a whole different rigmarole. Nobody's here for that. I'm going to get the hell out of here. Got other stuff to edit. I took time to do this because I know once I start doing the editing, I'm done. Like... I'm not going to care to talk about this. Uh, also, big ups to Mr. Echo. He edits my videos, by the way. I know people keep missing that. He edits the Gunpla presentation videos. I do all the filming, obviously the building, and the lighting. That's all me. Uh, the cinematography, whatever you want to call it, that's also all me. I'm trying to learn my way around this. Oh, the color grading was also by me. I'm learning that, too. I don't, the Gunpla is so miserable. Because it has forced me to pick up new... Like, I just want to paint model kits. And now, like, I got to learn camera stuff. You know, I got to learn how to color grade footage. What am I doing? And now, I'm looking like, oh, I got to get Adobe Lightroom. I'm shooting shots in RAW now. I'm taking photos of Gundam model kits in RAW footage. I miss the days when everything was just JPEG. Now, I got to get Lightroom so I can properly edit my raw photos jesus christ 